Trump accuser Stormy Daniels tells CNN, I'm a successful WA3. Please subscribe this channel for instant update news. CNN, ever ready to find a new scandal on President Donald Trump, traveled to a floor at a strip club to speak to Stormy Daniels. And she didn't hold back. The interview is included below. Daniels refused to do an on-camera interview for CNN's Nick Valencia and Hot as Gold on Friday night in Pompano Beach, but did agree to allow audio to be recorded. She could not discuss the lawsuit or the events surrounding it, although she is speaking with 60 Minutes on Sunday. A transcript and audio of the interview is below. In the interview, she says the scandal has been a double-edged sword, and has been both good and bad for her career. She also said she responds to those who call her a whore by insisting she is a successful whore. Here is the transcript of her interview with CNN. CNN, so what has this done for your career? Daniels, um, it's sort of been a double-edged sword, where a lot of people are very interested in booking me for dancing and stuff like that. So it's, I'm getting more, more dance bookings, I used to only dance once a month and now I'm dancing three or four times a month so that's been really great. But because of that it's sort of overshadowing a lot of the adult films I'm supposed to be promoting, and a lot of the mainstream projects that I was actively working on have been indefinitely put on hold. CNN, you've gotten a lot of attention, some of it some negative attention, how are you handling everything? Daniels, I've been in the adult business for 17 years, so to make it that long in that business you have to have a really tough skin, and so most of it rolls off my shoulders because it's an opinion. Like, oh, you think I'm a whore, or you think I'm ugly, or I'm old, or I'm fat or my boobs are too big or too small or whatever. I've heard, there's nothing along those lines that someone can say to me that I haven't heard. And so when someone says, hey, you're a whore, I'm like, that is successful whore to you. CNN, but this is a little different though. Has some of it been hurtful at all? What's your reaction been to it? Daniels, the stuff that bothers me is the flat out lies. Like people randomly making up stuff. CNN, like what? Daniels, like that I'm broke. I'm one of the most successful adult movie directors in the business. I have a contract that's been in place for several years and I actually just renegotiated, and got a new contract. There was already, the terms were already set before this stuff happened, and I got a raise, so I'm doing just fine. CNN, what do you think about the circus that's happening? This was out in 2011 but this is now renewed attention. Daniels, I think it's pretty clear that with new developments come new interest. CNN, what do people need to know about you and what's going on that you think has been overshadowed? Daniels, like I just said, I'm doing what I've always done. I'm writing, directing, performing and dancing, like none of that's changed, and people are under this huge misconception that I just started stripping. And I've actually been doing this for 18 years. CNN, like they think you take advantage of the situation. Daniels, right, and that's not true. Yes, I'm more in demand, and like I said in the Rolling Stone interview, if someone came up to you and said, hey, you know that job you've been doing forever. How about next week I pay you quadruple, show me one person who is going to say no. CNN, so, it has helped you financially. Daniels, it's helped me in the short immediate time, because obviously more people are coming out, more people in the clubs that's the more tips, but I have yet to see how it's going to play out long term. CNN, when you look back at this stage of your life, this period of your life, what do you think you are going to think about? I mean what are you going to think about what you're going through right now? Daniels, holy s. Yes. Laughter, I mean, is there really anything else to say? CNN, anything that I haven't asked you that's important to know? Anything else to take about while we have the chance? What should we expect this week? Daniels, I am not sure what's coming this week, honestly. I mean, you guys work at CNN. You know. Laughter. CNN. Any comment to the president 